What's up, Wii Deemers? It's Sal, and in this video, we're gonna show you how to set up controls for a non Steam game in Steam OS. Normally, my Steam Deck tips videos are shorts, but I thought this one definitely deserved a longer video. Let's take a closer look. As you all know, the Steam Deck can switch to desktop mode, and with most Linux distros, they normally have a app store. I guess you can call it. It's more of an application, and you can go ahead and download any one of these games to your Steam Deck. As you can see, I downloaded, I guess that's Zonoctix. <laughs> As you can see, I downloaded Cave Story. Now, natively, this game will only show up on desktop mode. It will not show up in game mode. If you open the Steam app and you go up to the top menu, and you go to games, you go down to add a non-Steam game to your library. All you have to do is go down and select the game that you want to add. I got Zonotic. And you're gonna go ahead and down here and click add selected programs and it should add that to your steam library and you can go down to the bottom here and you will see the game is added to my steam obviously there's gonna be no box art or anything if you check the card at the top of the screen i will show you how to add a background image and a logo and also an image to your steam library if you go down to the bottom, you can see that this image is grayed out. So don't forget to check that card at the top of the screen or the link down below or the one at the end of the video. Now let's switch back over to game mode by clicking the icon here on the desktop. Now, as you can see, Cave Story, if I go ahead and launch that app, none of the buttons work. If you press the Steam button, It'll bring up this menu. You want to go to controller settings. Then you want to go to custom settings at the bottom there. You dummy. Now I tried to set this up myself and I, I couldn't get it. I'm sure there's a way. You can go over to community layouts and then as you can see, there's a bunch of different community layouts. I'm gonna go ahead and pick one. Now I'm gonna back up and as you can see, it's working perfectly fine. Now I don't know if this works for every game. There might not be some custom layouts. The one game, the Z Z Xenonautics, I can't even say that name wrong because mother uh, right, because I'm an idiot. There's nothing, there's nothing there. And as you see, nothing, nothing works. And Jimmy two times. I'm gonna go get the papers, get the papers. But the touch screen. As you can see with Zonotic, it unfortunately does not work with this. There's nothing in a community layout. That means nobody's worked on it. Me personally, I'm gonna try to mess with it and see if I could get that game to work. But we got Hedge Wars. And if you go into Steam, by default, it's set to web browser. You go over here, you go to the community tab. And as you can see, you have two to select from. I picked the bottom one, it'll download it. Now the only problem with Hedge Wars is it has to, it won't, you hear it moving, but it won't use the D-pad to select. You gotta use the touchpad. But as soon as you're in the game, yes, sir. as you see, the D-pad is moving the character. And A jumped, which committed suicide. Good move. So there you go, it's that easy. If you happen to add a non-Steam game to your SteamOS library and you can't get the controls to work, you might wanna take a look at the community layout tab in the control settings. You might just happen to find something that the community has added there and get the controls to work. As you've seen, not all games have them. I personally wanna go ahead and look at some of the games that I have that did not have a community control layout and see if maybe somehow by some miracle I could get one to work. Don't forget in the next video, we're gonna be taking a look at the Red Dragon Taipan and I'm probably butchering that name, but Wireless Gaming Mouse, which honestly for $32.99, it really shaping out to be a really good wireless controller on the cheap. Mother f Also, there's going to be many more Steam tips, tricks, and secrets. So if you're interested in that, you know what to do. As for now, I'll see you in the next one. Hey guys, instead of staring at my ugly mug, why don't you go ahead and check out one of our other videos? One, two, I'll wait. My busted face ain't going nowhere.